So many of you have been asking me if you can make your own voiceover demo reel and how do you actually make them yourself? Well, I finally get to answer those two questions on this video, plus a bonus tip at the very end. So if you're ready, let's get started. What's happening? Welcome back to Speak Easy. This is the place where we talk about your voiceover career, especially if you're just starting out. If this is the first time we're meeting, hello, my name is Anna. I am a freelance voiceover talent, and I have been in the industry for more than 15 years now. And I'm here really to help you out with some tips and tricks that I swear by. If you are interested in videos like this one, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and also tap that notification bell just so you know if I have new videos out. All right, so let's get the ball rolling and let's talk demo reel. Ooh, can I just introduce to you my dog, Athos, who is currently sleeping right now? Let's not disturb him right now. So yes, let's talk demo reels. First of all, what is it? Well, a demo reel is actually a compilation of your voiceover recording, ones that showcases your talent. And this is compiled in a short audio clip. A demo reel is an essential marketing tool for any voiceover. Why is it essential? Well, because this is how clients will know what we can offer to them and ultimately help us land the job. Now, how about a little trivia before we move on? Why is it called a voiceover demo reel? Well, because a long, long time ago, that was a term when analog recording was still used. The term reel comes from circular magnetic tape where original recordings were stored. Well, of course, we don't use those anymore. We can record our demo reels on our computers using softwares like Audacity and then store it in our computer. And that is why it's possible for you to make your own demo reel. So I'm hoping we're on the same page now. Let's get to creating your do-it-yourself demo reel. Step number one, of course, is get your materials ready. If you have a few jobs under your belt already, choose the best ones and include those. If you don't have any, that's not a problem. You just need to record some voice samples. And that brings us to step number two. Find scripts that suits your voice and fall under the niche that you want to start in. Find at least five scripts that varies in tone, read, and maybe emotions. For example, maybe look for a commercial ad with a happy tone. And then the next one can be a more corporate read. You can also show off your acting chops by doing a character in a commercial. Whatever it is that you want to include in your demo reel, I leave it up to you, but it needs to showcase your talent as a voiceover. Now, I know your next question would be, where do I find the scripts? I get this all the time. Well, you can find some in the internet. The easiest thing to do is look for a commercial that you think you want to do and then transcribe it. As long as the commercials have aired already or they've already come out, you are safe from copyright infringement the internet is still the best place to look for scripts as well. But to make your lives easier, I decided to gather some sample scripts for you and you can find them down at my description box. So now let's move on to step number three. But before that, I really do hope that you're finding value in this video. If you are, please give me a thumbs up right now. You can also share this video to that person who you know wants to be a voiceover talent too. So now that you have all your scripts with you, I do advise you to practice reading them out loud as many times as you can until you're confident to press record. So go on and record yourself. Now I'm not going to show you how to record yourself on this video because I already have a video for that. So what I'll do is give you the link up here and down at the description box. Now back to this video. We are about to put together our do-it-yourself demo reel. Now, please remember that the ideal length of a demo reel that features multiple spots would be around 60 to 90 seconds. But since we are planning to use this on online marketplaces like Fiverr, my advice is to keep it within 60 seconds. That's about a minute. One more thing, unless you know your way around a technical side of producing industry standard demo reels, like mixing audio levels, adding special effects, or even music, my advice is just to do a dry voice, meaning no special effects, no music, 
just your voice. So now, let me show you how it's done by showing you my screen. Why don't you come around so you can see? Okay, so we are about to make our do-it-yourself demo reel and I am needing to put together my demo reel for the language Tagalog, which is my native language. So I'm going to put together my demo reel for that. So let me just show you my pre-selected files. So I did say that we can uh, put in five to six files or spots and so here's my Tagalog folder so let's get started let us choose these okay I'll just put it all together okay so I'll mute everything else for now mute that one and mute that one mute that one so what we want to do is get the clip or the snippet the sound bite that will showcase your voice so for me that usually happens towards the end of the commercial so i'm gonna start at the end of the commercial here so let's try that ang paalala ni ito ay hatid sa inyo ng pinoy supermarket pinoy bake shop and pinoy restaurant i think i like this better Ang paalala na ito ay hatid sa inyo ng Pinoy Supermarket, Pinoy Bake Shop, at Pinoy Restaurant. Okay, so I'm gonna take that snippet. Let's get that. Copy. Add a new file. Just open a new file and make sure to leave that there. So this is raw file for this demo reel so let's go back to our main one so we can actually take this out we're done with that unmute this one and let's see what we can find here so again let's go for the end part where you usually mention your client's name and you're usually peaking because you're about to end the commercial so your energy is usually there. No matter your challenge, we can help you webify your business. Ang aming platform ay mak Okay, but there's no Tagalog there and I am looking for a Tagalog. Matutulungan ka namin at hindi mo kailangan gawin itong mag-isa. Lahat ng aming plans ay may one-on-one -on -one support. Huwag nang maghintay pa. Let's webify your business. There you go. Because we we wanted to make a Tagalog demo reel, the line or the soundbite should be in Tagalog. Lahat ng aming plans ay may one-on-one -on -one support. Huwag nang maghintay pa. Let's webify your business. Okay, so I'm also going to copy that. Go to our thing and just paste it there. We go back to the next one. This is Zytonic, so let's see. Isang de kalidad na produkto ng SPS Philippines Corporation. Okay, I think I like that part. So copy and then let's go here. So I have three so far. Ooh, do you see that? We have to adjust this one, so we need to normalize this one. Okay, that's better. Ipaliwanag sa akin ang mga pangunahing pamamaraan sa pangangal- Okay, I changed my mind about this one, so I'm going to take that out. And this is my fourth one. Sa Global Telling, ang boses ko, ang password ko. I like that one. Okay, I think I like this one because it has that whispering effect. Sa Global Telling, ang boses ko, ang password ko. That's a different read from uh, the others that I have selected so far. So that's four. That means I do need two more or maybe one more. Let's see what else I can find in my folder. Let's try this one. This is Canva. And then let's try, let's try this one. Okay, let's try this one. Sobrang lawak ng Canva. Kaya naman, napaka useful. I think this has a low, low volume. So let us 
amplify that a little bit. We just do normalize. Okay, that's better. Maybe I'll go towards the end. Ready ka na bang mag-design? I like that one. Gamitin ang mga search tools para masulit mo ang buong lawak na ino-offer ng Canva. Ready ka na bang mag-design? Okay, I like that one. Okay, so let's copy that and let's put it at the end. Okay, and then last one. Let's just see. I'm not sure if everything is going to make it. Okay, so let's try this for the Australian government. Kung ikaw ay isang casual o kontraktual na manggagawa na walang sick pay, We'll get this one. Alamin ang iyong pagkamarapat at mag-sign up ngayon sa Service Victoria app. Pinahintulutan ng pamahala ang Victoria, Melbourne. Okay, let's get that. Alright, so let's paste that there. Alright, so we have six ads or six spots that will make up my Tagalog demo reel. Now, we did say that our length, the ideal length, is what? 60 seconds. Okay, so right now looking at it without doing anything yet, we are only on the 46 second mark. So we do have time, but we do need to create spaces in between all these spots. So we'll do that right now. Uh, I need to, I just need to make that space. This is the silence button. So I just silence that right there. I'm also going to copy it and then I will copy paste it there okay so this is the length that I will use as a pause in between spots or in between uh, ads this is so your clients know that the next one is about to start at the end of the pause so first of all let's start with the first commercial here so we can already paste there you go so that's uh, a marker Okay, so that's the first one. Pinoy restaurant. But I'm not sure if this is the sequence that I would want it in. Okay, so let's just fix everything up first. Restaurant. Lahat ng aming plans ay may one-on-one -on -one support. Huwag nang maghintay. Okay, let's clean that up first. So this is the time to clean up your files also. Support. Huwag nang maghintay pa. Let's webify your business. Okay, so that's one, then that's business. It's a global telling. I'm both. Okay, let's create a pause here and then. Gamitin ang mga search tools. Okay, that's Canva. Canva. Okay, we're down to our last one. Alamin ang iyong pagkamarapat. Okay, so we are still on our 45 second mark. So now I just want to make sure, first of all, that the volume of all the files are about the same. So that's about the same. That's about the same, but I think this file right here needs a little help so we'll go to effect we'll go to amplify and we'll just boost it up a little bit maybe three let's see okay okay I think that's good Boy restaurant so just a quick reminder what do you need you need about five or six spots or different ads to be included in your demo reel. It should be no more than 60 seconds. So as you can see, we're only on our 55 second mark and there are spaces in between just so it's a clear indication to your client that that's where an ad ends and a new one begins. So what do you say we listen to the whole thing? I-download at i-install ngayon para masulit ang espasyo ng phone mo. Ang paalala na ito ay hatid sa inyo ng Pinoy Supermarket, Pinoy Bake Shop, at Pinoy Restaurant. Sa Global Telling, ang boses ko, ang password ko.
Lahat ng aming plans ay may one-on-one -on -one support. Huwag nang maghintay pa! Let's webify your business! Alamin ang iyong pagkamarapat at mag-sign up ngayon sa Service Victoria app. Pinahintulutan ng pamahalaang Victoria, Melbourne. Gamitin ang mga search tools para masulit mo ang buong lawak na ino-offer ng Canva. Ready ka na bang mag-design? Gamitin ang Zytonic M mula sa Zydex, isang dekalidad na produkto ng SPS Philippines Corporation. Okay, so I spotted one more thing that we need to fix and that is the pause in between these two commercials right here. So all we have to do is copy paste the pause here and then put it here and then Po. Ang paalala na ito ay hatid sa inyo ng Pinoy Supermarket, Pinoy Bake Shop, at Pinoy Restaurant. Okay, so I think this is ready to go. So all we need to do is save it. So make sure you save it as an MP3. That way, it will be easy for your client to download it and listen to it. So let's put our name. And let's hit save. So once that's saved, it should be here. Here it is. I download at I install ngayon. And there you have it. You have done your very first DIY demo reel, and now you're ready to upload it to your favorite freelance website. Now I know I promised you a bonus tip at the end, but before that, let me just give you a gentle reminder on how you can support me and this channel. The easiest way of course is still subscribing to the channel and also liking the videos. If you want to take your support to another level, another way is by not skipping any of the ads. And if you find that you still want to show me some love, you can also send me some super thanks. That's the heart icon with a dollar sign in it and you can find it down here at the video. Click it and send some love my way. However which way you want to show me support, please do know that I am grateful to every one of you. So here's my bonus tip for you. Remember, you don't have to have just one kind of demo reel. In fact, I encourage you to create a demo reel for each theme or skill sets that you want to show off. For example, you can have one demo reel for just audiobooks, another one for just TV and radio commercials, and maybe have another one for different languages. For example, you speak French, Spanish, Tagalog, and maybe another language. You can have all of those four languages in one demo reel. And please, if you know your client is looking for someone who can sound like a little girl, don't send them a reel full of serious corporate ads. And there you have it. Now you know how to make your own demo reel. Now you can start uploading them on freelance platforms like Fiverr. Incidentally, if you want to know how to upload your demo reel on Fiverr, click on the link and I'll see you there. And so my voiceover friends, may your inbox be full of notifications. May you nail all your auditions. May you always have smooth recording sessions and may your clients never ask for revisions. And with that, I'll wish you all a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers!